So first I measure myself or whoever I'm making the costume for and there's three main ones, the bust, waist, and hips. So there's me taking my measurement and it's 33 inches so I'll just write that down. And then for the waist I do the same, wrap the measuring tape around and my waist is 26 inches. And then I measure the hips and for this you want to measure the highest point. So you're not actually measuring around where your hip bones are. You're measuring just a little bit lower than that. And my hips measure about 36 inches. A pattern usually needs these three measurements to figure out your size. So according to the pattern I'm using, all my measurements would be about a size small. My bust measurement would be an extra small. So I'll take my pattern in at the top. Even though my pattern doesn't require it, there are other measurements I like to take as well. This first one is the length of your arm from your shoulder bone to your wrist. And since I wanna make these sleeves so they can hook around my middle finger, I'll also take one measurement of my arm length from my shoulder bone to the middle of my hand. And I'll also measure the circumference of my bicep and of my wrist. Next, I'll measure from the base of my neck to my different directions on how to sew elastics in, but I like to divide my elastic and the opening it's attaching to into quarters and pin them at each of these sections, just so it's nice and even and there's no bunching in any places. Once the elastic's attached to the opening, I fold it over and sew right along the edge with another zigzag stitch. sew my arms in before I sew the bodice elastic in and I'll also pin my two waist sections together here. And I usually start with a zigzag stitch for this one just because it tends to be a little trickier on getting it to sit completely flat, especially when you're doing a straight skirt like I was. 
But again, I was in a bit of a rush. I cut my skirt out of the stretchy sparkly fabric that I used for the sleeves and I would recommend sticking with the stretch fabric for the skirt if you're a beginner. Because I had a low back, I added these two crisscrossing pieces of elastic that I covered in my sparkly fabric with the zigzag stitch just to give some extra support and finish sewing the elastic around the neckline and back as normal. And this is me trying on the dress. I did make a few changes after this to fix the skirt from bunching and then I actually cut new sleeves because I wanted to add that finger part to stop the sleeves from bunching up. And here you can see my new sleeves, and I'm just sewing on the elastic for the second sleeve. This one I just divide into three sections and pin where each of those line up. And like I do with all my other elastics, I fold it over and sew along the edge. I have one type of elastic that I like to use for the finger part. So I cut it into a little loop and then sew it to the wrong side of my sleeve, right at the point that I've created. Here's my finished sleeve and usually I'll just cover that part where I've sewed the elastic on with a few crystals. 